How's it going, my comic chat army? Back with another review. And I need y'all's help really quick. Please let me know where I can get a bag or something that could keep our stabity clean and looking fresh. <laughs> well, it took me out. Yeah, because he's always falling over it and knocking over my action figures. And I had to keep him here with the bunny is back. Shout out to Richard Rivera. If you guys, really quick, we talked about this. When we first started this channel, Cody used to do like room tours, video, you know, showing our collection of things, um, just a bunch of random things like that. If you guys would like to see another like updated video from how we've grown and our collection has grown in the beginning from till now, let us know. Leave a comment down below because let me tell you, his collection has grown <laughs> quite a bit. Yep. Quite a bit. Got a lot of CCA merch. We got bookmarks. We had custom Funko Pop holders from 2D Designs. Yep. We have a link to them down in the description. You can get some, but not the CCA ones. How many boxes have you grown since the beginning? Well, since the beginning, we started doing reviews and stuff. So we probably did a long box and a half of reviews. Plus We're like your 300 personal plus. collection, too. We're like 300 plus it's reviews. It's crazy. But yeah. yeah, if you guys want to see that, let us know. But the whole reason you're here is 18 plus review. Yes. So if you're not 18, we greatly appreciate you watching. And the short little intro, yeah. I appreciate you watching that. So leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you ha haven't. And now's your time to exit before we get into yes. is not for these children. very mature books. Joseph Smilkies, Cherry Blackbird. And I think his name is Garth, Garth Ennis. I think this is his name, did the pro. All right. Yep. Really quick, I wanted to tell y'all that this is, I'm not sure, I wish I'd have known this when I interviewed Smokey, because the Infernal Pact is, is part of the same universe. Like the same characters cross over well, some of the characters in the Infernal Pact crossed over in Cherry Blackbird, and I think the first appearance of the Black Hen, is, I hope that's how you say it, is in yeah, the so Infernal Black Pact, Hen. which we're going to review soon with... Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm so but excited. it's not about that. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. We got a lot of hot bangers coming for you. Yeah. So Cherry Blackbird... She gets manipulated into selling her soul. And they're like, well, what does your heart desire? And she's like, well, I'll become a rock star. And she become a rock star. And the devil came to her when she was 25 and was like, look, I'm going to give you one year to get the sins back into hell that escaped. And your debt's complete. I'm not going to tell you if she completes the mission or not because Scout is putting out this book, I'm assuming, in five five parts because yeah. it's five, five chapters but so check that out and what scouts putting out has a little bit extra content than what's in here but one thing i really really enjoyed about this book really it, you know really quick i don't mean to interrupt is it going to be the same art or is there going to be different artists involved in the books that are coming out in scout do you know i don't i think it's going to be the same art style but just other think, creators possibly yeah i think smoky Let's see. Smokey wrote it and done the art. So I think he's just going to add a little bit of art pages okay. to it. Well, I didn't know if he was involving anybody else, you know. In the as other far ones. as I know, I'm not sure on that question. If y'all know, let us know down in the comments. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just was curious. No, Go you're ahead. good. Once when she accepts the terms of the deal, right up here in the right-hand corner, it says Countdown to Damnation, and it's 360 days out of the year. And... Throughout the whole book, it tells you how much time she has left. 200, let's see, 390, 359 days. Then you go down to 216 days, I mean 18 days. All the way down to, I'm gonna show you, to zero days. And I'm not gonna tell you if she completes it just because the book's still new, and I, I would, I would feel like an asshole spoiling it. See, <laughs> got down to damnation day zero, but highly recommend this book. 
Yes, the first couple pages has some shock value of the black hand coming out of the dude's ass. Oh, yeah. But if you can get past that, honestly, the book's not that bad. You get to see just, like, a couple naked women, Jerry Blackbird fighting naked. But it's really mm. nothing at all bad. But, I don't know, where's he at? I like one of the character designs. And, this, and I'm going to tell you all this really quick. If y'all if y'all have read it, comment down below if you know about the spoon, what she was going to do with the spoon, because I was going to do the opening <laughs> with that, but then I was like, nah, not too many people would know what I'm talking about. Or the clicking that the devil does. The devil does like a clicking, like click, click, like, like as he's talking, he's like, <laughs> yeah, and I, I was going to do that, but then I was like, then people might think. I think I'm just Something weird just to wrong. be like, hey, right. Like, what the fuck happened to him? He's, He's just, you're right. <laughs> but I'm going to show you some of the art, just a random page. I definitely give this book a 10 out of 10. It is awesome. One of my favorite books that I've read and one of my favorite covers, which I didn't know that it had extra covers. Like the Horse of Babylon mm -hmm. would have to be either one of those two well please pick up cherry blackbird from scout comics or go to uh smoky's etsy store when it's open and pick you up a copy if you can't wait for the single issues cherry blackbird it's awesome and when the book's actually finished we'll come back and do an update and i'll spoil it for you and give you more details on my on like my thoughts on it of how the book ended i love how it ended it wrapped everything up in a nice tight bow but before I got through chapter 5 I was like I want more and they should do like a prologue then I read the first couple pages of the Infernal Pact this is not this is the review for Jerry Blackbird so I'm gonna stop bringing that up but it gives you kind of like a prologue to Cherry Blackbird I didn't know that I read Cherry Blackbird first and Smokey if you watch this let us know does it matter the order is I the Infernal Pack that. first? Or, yeah, I am. Okay. I, mean, I mean, so y'all subscribe, and when I when we review the Infernal Pack next week, I'll let you know my thoughts on which one should be first. And really quick, I'm super long-winded today. Subscribe, hit the like button, because we got J.M. Brandt from yep. Swamp Dogs Wednesday. And Smokey's on that. Smokey's everywhere, man. <laughs> Image Comics. Also, Paper Films. Yes. Put it out. That's who I got, got the book it, from. Um, yeah. It's Paper Films, which is a very first contender. We got a brand new publisher that we're reviewing, and a lot more books coming from them. Yes. The this, this book's been out for a few years, right? Right. So, so you've, you've, you've had it. your warning. Yeah. You've had your chance to find it, to get it. So, Carrie's going to give you. I oh. love this. All right. Sorry about that. Yep. So, anyways, the pro, it's about a prostitute. Can't get any more simple than that. It's about a struggling prostitute. She's a single mom. Yep, very first image. She's blowing somebody. How exciting. Well, the very first image of this, oh, yeah. is so that. a dude on all fours. So, that's why we said. It's... Who has a very fun fetish. <laughs> yeah, so she... Um, is given powers by an alien called the viewer now <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the so watcher basically what it is is they've kind of he's made a bet with his assistant yeah i mean there's the struggles of her being a single mom you can I mean, show all that which a single parent yeah it is hard um but anyways he's basically like oh uh, you can make anybody a superhero it doesn't matter who they are so he gives her his a little bit of his cosmic powers as they call it and next thing you know the league which they were kind of um oh my gosh the viewer was kind of sending signals out to get in contact with them to find her and they basically are kind of auditioning her to be a part of them and she's not your typical superhero i mean vulgar language just very raunchy there's a scene you'll get to it oh, yeah. was the one scene I mean, this was like and you can see what these characters are kind of rep you know kind of looking similar to in superhero world but there she is doing what she does best blowing <laughs> blowing one of them and he shoots a load clear across the 
town and hits an airplane out of the sky and they have to go and save this airplane which basically they were, were bl blaming her and wanted to throw her out but he's like no give her another chance long story short they end up coming to the end to save which looks like the Empire State Building because this book is based in New York. There's a bunch of terrorists at the top and she's she's faced with this part. Saving the kind saving the the state, I guess you could say, from a bomb going off. She rips these guys' arms off and flies into outer space, comes across the aliens at the end that gave her the powers and he's like see i won the bet she is a superhero and that's the end of her you don't know if she dies you don't know if she you don't know what happens to her it just basically says her kid grew up the end and yeah, pretty much that's i was it. just i mean it's, her kid grew up not a bad idea when you, you think, think about, about it. it and that's it nobody knows what happened to her there is another little fun short eight page book tell them about him it's called The Pro Meets the Ho, <laughs> and it's the mama of multiple masturbation. She's the dusky doll with a dozen dick hands. So basically, <laughs> she gets into it with the pro stepping on her turf, giving hand jobs, and she's like, no, I'm the bitch that does this. I can give 12 hand jobs at once, and they kind of go at it. But it's it's a fun, raunchy, gritty, lighthearted book that was just it was a breath of fresh air to read something different. Yes. We we get stuck in reading and reviewing the same styles of indie books. Not that we don't enjoy them, we do. But to be able to bring some different content that we can get ourselves and, and break away for a minute is just nice. Yeah, and, and we if, even got the pro pen. And if you guys like us reviewing books like this and want us to get you know find some more different types of you know styles let us know in the comments we'll be please. more than happy to yeah please comment down below even if it's hi hello no this is you know what our patreon is is helping us towards is is reaching out and kind of you know branching out with the indie world and bringing you guys more variety yep with so. our patreon it's a dollar a month and you get all these videos the same day we film them it's a dollar up to what is it ten yep so go check it out. We'll leave a link down in the Please. description. Check it out. Help us. Yeah. <laughs> we we want to keep doing this channel. Oh yeah. It's it's fun. It's it's you know it's fun. It's exciting for us to be able to add a little bit of touch into the creative indie world because we're not writers, we're not artists. Nope. But if we can help in this sort of way, let us let us continue to do that. And this is kind of a thing for Cody and I to do together. You right. Know? Even sorry, didn't no, mean to cut you off. Even if you don't want to. Buy a bookmark or anything like that. Just simply share the video. That yeah. helps a lot more than donating a dollar. We, but, we love doing this. Oh, yeah, we do. So, but that's about it for it now. It is. Thank so. you.